he's getting really restless because he wants down. So I've put him down and my trusty camera lady will keep an eye on him for me if he's behind me. Make sure no seagulls or crows appear. Um, that is one of the reasons for the following project that I'm going to discuss with you. If my trusty cameraman uh, would like, camera woman, would like to zoom in to the top of Safe ethical plants for tortoises. And it is a relatively okay area. It's about four foot by four foot. It's outside. It's fairly um, isolated from the rest of the garden. However, what it's not is safe from birds, cats, dogs, foxes, or anything like that. And it's not completely closed in because there is a bit at the top that they can run all the way down the side and will potentially end up in this pile of wood that you see before you. This was a It was all decked previously but we had to rip that out when we got the two boys because we realised that they needed an outdoor table. Now what I intend to do with this area is clear away the debris, um, collect up all the bits of concrete and rubble because I'll need that, um, lift this, level it out, uh, put chicken wire and mesh on the bottom to stop rodents digging up from underneath and then build a tortoise table into this seven foot by seven foot area. It will be just under three foot uh, wide on each side with a little bit that I can walk up the middle and it will be separated in the middle at the back bit so each table will go round the corner and will be separated by uh, wood and mesh in the middle to stop them digging through to each other. Um, this is not something that I can do in a day so we'll just see how it goes as we go along. So while Bilbo is exploring the garden um, or walking down the side as he normally does I am going to get my gloves and start clearing the debris. Um, once I've done that, I will um, I will be back and I will let you know what the next stage of the project is. Okay. Weed cover off after clearing all the bits of wood and old plant pots and things that had blown onto it um, and things that had been buried under the decking and it's not as bad as I first thought um, debris wise things that will do for the water dishes and tortoise tables oh there's quite a good stone as well so what I'm just going to do now is I'm going to start digging so I am going to try and turn that hill into a flat place so that we have something to start with and I'm not sure about the concrete in the holes that were holding the decking up so I will update as I go along if and when required. Back soon. It's after four o'clock now and I was digging for about three hours and as you can see I've not quite got it even yet but we're getting there it's probably gonna be another another day's work to level that out and then we can look at putting in the structure and support along that bit soil that I've dug out over the last two days 
when um, my dad reminded me that there was a pick in the garden shed, I got done a lot faster. So that's what I've done so far. It's actually raining quite heavy, so I need to, I was, while it was spitting, I was still digging, but I've had to stop now. But we are getting there. If you can see the, the line on the wall, um, where the soil used to be and where it is now. I've tried to do that as far along as possible, but I've still got a yeah, I've still got a little bit to go um, before I can start um, putting in the structure here and here and I was just having a look at some of the bits of wood that I might want to use um, but for now I'll leave it there thanks very much Right, so this is the base of the enclosure done. As you can see, the boys are in there. Frodo is on the other side, um, somewhere. It's taken three weeks to get this done, longer than I expected. There's still a few things that need to be done to it. It needs to be filled with soil, uh, topsoil, because I've, I've riddled all the soil that we had and I've added one bag of topsoil to each um, enclosure. You can tell because the topsoil is a darker stuff. I'm guessing I need to add around about six bags to each one, but that's gonna be done over a, a period of time. I've then got to start planting some plants. I've got all the seeds, the tortoise safe seeds waiting and then we have to make it secure so that we can potter around in the garden nip in and get cups of tea um, and generally not have to watch them 24 7. so what we're doing is we're going to build it up like an aviary style um, we're going to have mesh panels and a roof uh, we'll have a gate at the entrance to each enclosure which can be padlocked shut um, because I am considering maybe leaving them out here in the summer when I'm at work. But as you can see, for now, they've got the space and they've got the size. Um, it lets them stomp around and work all that energy away. And we will work on the securing of the enclosure uh, at the next stage. But thanks for watching and goodbye.